everyone, this is Shelly and I wanted to talk to you about the things that I've learned in the week 7 folder and chapter 5 in the textbook. The three topics that I wanted to talk about are just-in-time production, the Kanban system, and Hijanka. Just-in-time, as defined by the textbook, is it means uh, producing the right item at the right time and in the right quantity. Everything else is considered Muda. For my, for, in my opinion, I believe Honda is still using the push method instead of the pull method. Um, the line is always moving, you know, it never stops. It doesn't matter if you get behind or if someone else gets behind. You just have to get yourself caught back up. Um, I used to work in a different department, and in this department, I felt like we had more of a pull method. Um, each engine was sent individually. So when you get done, you press your pedal and it's gone, and then the next one comes. You know, this was a lot easier, slower paced, in my opinion, than working on the assembly line like I do now. Um, and along with the just-in-time production, it go, um, just in case parts goes along with, with this. Um, we have shelves or a cage where we keep all the extra parts and things. Well, after a while, it starts to get full. We end up actually throwing parts away, which is Muda, which is not good. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was the Kanban or the visual system. In the video talking about the St. Clair Hospital, they used the two bin system where when they ran out of one thing, there was, you just moved the empty bin and there was a full bin behind it. And at the end of the day, they would refill and restock everything. We use this system. Um, at each station there are usually two lots of parts if possible and when you run out when one bin is empty you move it to the back and the new bin or the full bin you move to the front and about halfway through each lot and there's 30 cars in a lot we receive the next lot of parts um, we actually Honda just built a new facility for delivery of parts and items and things like that well, we're still getting used to this system, so sometimes we run out of parts. Sometimes we have too many parts. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they use the system where they you scan the car and they know, you know, what lot you're on and how many more you got and those kind of things, and that's how they deliver the parts. But sometimes you have too little, sometimes you have too many. Um, the other day, I actually had, instead of having just two lots of parts, I had four and there wasn't enough room for all of these and they actually had to come out and come take some parts back so that's part of an issue um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was Hijunka or level production in this speech he talks about the baseball game where at the end of the game everyone tried to leave at once which causes a bottleneck um, which is not good and level production so even and out everything say one section leaves at a time or having an exit for each section so there's less people trying to go out the same door. Um, some days we have to run a certain number at Honda or some days we have to run another certain or a different number and it fluctuates. If they made it a more even number like level production um, it would be easier on us because they actually run this the line speed goes along with that number so the more cars the faster speed and faster speed leads to bad quality or having to stop the line. Um, we actually run better at a slower constant pace than a fast rapid pace. It makes it harder on us. You know, in the end, if we do that fast pace, we may make our number, but quality is probably going to be worse than if we went at a slower pace. Um, thanks for watching my video.